temperatures rise and we take care of ourselves, we also have to take care of our pets. Not in your sides, Ricky Mitchell joins us live from the east side with more on how the heat can affect animals. Well, Guy, we say it all the time, but it's worth repeating this time of year, especially with an excessive heat warning in effect. If it's too hot for humans, it's too hot for your pets. And if you plan to take them out for a walk, a good way to check to see if it's safe is to actually feel the ground with your palm. If you can't leave it there for more than a couple seconds, it's too hot for their paws. And we actually spoke to a couple local vets here in town that say this is the time of year when they start treating animals for heat-related illnesses. Now, some signs of heat stroke in a dog include labored breathing if their mouth becomes dry and their gums turn bright red and if they look wobbly or weak. If you see those signs in your animal, you need to get them to a vet as soon as possible. We'll go into um, organ failure if their temperature stays too high. Uh, kidney failure is, is common, brain damage. So yes, if they're allowed to stay at that really hot temperature, um, they can die quite easily. Now, obviously, the best thing you can do is leave them inside this weekend as those temperatures soar. Only take them for walks in the early morning or late at night and make sure they have plenty of water as well. And, you know, as we all deal with the heat this weekend, we do actually have something to look forward to. This year's El Nino. Scientists are predicting that they haven't seen this magnitude El Nino in nearly 20 years. So coming up at 6, we'll talk about how it might affect southern Arizona's rainfall. For now, we're live on the east side. I'm Ricky Mitchell, KGON 9 on your side. Thank you, Ricky.